Uh, hi, good afternoon. So um, this is Sally again on week two of our sessions. Um, hopefully some of you have come back to join me. Um, so from week one, uh, what we started to do is we started to do the HIIT work, so high intensity interval training. And I gave you different levels to work on and told you about an app that you can possibly download onto your phones, which I'm hoping will make it easier for you to be able to do the workouts on your own. So I'm just gonna very quickly before we start go through that app with you. It's very easy, just go into your app store on your phone and it's called Tabita, T-A-B-I-I-T-A, -I -I Tabita Hit, H-I-I-T. And if you just look at my screen there, it's this one here, that's second from the right. And then when you press on there, that's what will come up on the screen. And I'll just um, go into our, you can set that to the 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, which is what we're doing at the moment, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And it's really easy to set up. And once you get that set up on your phone, you can just put your phone at the side of you and you can just go through your workout without having to stop and start your phone. Okay, so that's the app. Um, also, very quickly, um, just wanted to say that I would like feedback, so that's going to, um, hopefully they're going to be sending out some forms for you. Please give me feedback, tell me what you want more of, less of. I'm quite happy to, um, to take all that on board, whether it's good or bad, because that's hopefully the way that we're going to improve these workouts for you. So, I'm going to start with a warm-up to begin with before we start our hit work. So warm up, it doesn't matter what space you've got in your house, all you're doing is either marching on the spot or you can march up and down your hallway or you can go up and down on a step, if you've got a bottom step on your stairs or outside your door, up and down, marching on the spot, you can march up and down your stairs, basically your warm up is anything that gets your heart rate started, heart beat up, makes your muscles a bit warm. So it's anything that you do that you move in and warm yourself up ready for the exercise. Your warm up probably is better for you to do that before you come to me. So you could do probably about three or four minutes just warming yourself up before we start our exercises. So we're going to work today with the app. So what you'll hear is when we've done our 40 seconds on of our fast moves, the moves are going to get the heart rate or the cardiovascular move, you'll hear a bleep, then you stop and you completely stop, stand still for the 20 seconds, then we start again. We will be narrowing this down in the next few weeks, so you'll go to 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and then it will just get harder and harder. But I am going to give you some different levels also to work on. So those of you that already do exercise, I'm hoping to give you something that's a little bit harder to do if you want it. So we're going to put the app on and we're going to start nice and easy to begin with. When you hear the bleed, I'm going to do the first move, which will just be marching on the spot and I'll give you an adaption to make that hard if you want to. So we're starting after five. And go. So we're on the spot marching. This is the easier level. You can do just a little march. If you've never done exercise before, just keep it nice and steady. You can do a bigger march, or you get your knees up a little bit higher. You could even, if you are already doing exercise and you want to make it harder still, you could go to a little jog on the spot, so that's harder still. Or you could do a combination of them all. So you could do marching, low on the spot, do a bigger march or a little jog. So you can mix it up basically to your level. This is going to be 40 seconds on. When the bleed goes, we're going to stop completely. We're just going to rest completely for 20 seconds before starting the next move. So that's your first move, marching or jogging on the spot. Bleed goes, so you completely rest only 20 seconds. Might seem a long time initially, but as you get further into the workout, you'll see that you'll need it. So we're going to go knee lifts, 
on the spot. You can do this without your arms. You can just do a very small lift. You can do a bigger lift, so a little bit higher. You can use your arms. That raises your heart rate even more. Or if you want to make it much harder, you can do that with a little jump. So you've got lots of different options there. You've got the easy option, just a tiny little lift. You've got the harder option, knees higher. Adding in the arms, a little bit harder. Or with a little jump, harder still. Or you can do a mixture of them all. So that's your knee lift step, your second move. Take a breather. The next move is going to be a half jacks. So you're going to again have harder levels to work on. That's a half jack. Easy level. Just taking the foot out to the side. Harder level with your arms. Harder still. Arms up high. And even harder, you can do a jumping jack. So you've got lots of different levels to work at. So that's the easy level. Harder, we add in the arms. Harder still, jumping jack. You can do those without the arms. So you've got lots of different levels to work at. We're going to take it into a little rest. Breathe and relax before the next move. So that's jacks, half jacks or full jacks. Take a breather. Your next move is going to be on the spot twist. So again, different levels to work at. So we've got a little twist. Arms low. Hardly lifting your feet off the floor. A little bit harder. We start adding in the arms. Harder still, we add a little jump. So that's an easy one, no arms. A little bit harder with the arms. Harder still, little jump. You've got lots of different levels to work at. So always working at your own level. If you need to stop and take a little rest, that's fine. Always, always work to your own level. So different options, high, nice and easy, low. That's on the spot, twist. Take a breather. Your next move, if you've got a step, is to use step ups. You don't have to use a step, go back to marching on the spot if you want to. But if you've got a step, just works a few more muscles. So try if you can to do alternate step ups. That's really good for your coordination. So for alternate legs, if you find that really difficult to do, you can just go up and down with one leg and tap and try and do four on one leg and four on the other. But if possible, try and do alternate legs. If you want to make that harder, bring those arms in. Harder still, little jump onto the step. Up, up, down to raise your heart rate even further. Near low this one. And then take a breather. Next move is going to be spotted dog, different levels to work. So you spot your dog, easy level, little push backs. So we're just pushing back, little small arms, you don't have to use the arms to keep it nice and easy, so no arms at all. You can make it bigger, so that's going to raise your heart rate even more. You can add in the arms. So bigger still, or we make it harder, but we go on the spot, spotted off, that's with a little jump. So easy, no arms, easier still, adding in the arms, a little bit harder, bigger arms, or spotted off, on the spot. So just keep it going, if you need to stop, you can stop at any time. Take a breather. We're going to go back to the beginning. We're just going to do a few more moves and then we're going to add a little bit of toning. So we're going back to on the spot job. So that's your march. 
No arms, with your arms, little jog, faster jog, steady jog, march. On the spot, jog, or march. No arms, adapt it to your level. So just work, as long as you get your heart rate up, start to get a little bit hot and sweaty, that's all we're looking for. So we're nearly there on this one, we're going to do one more move, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of strength work today and do a little bit of a combination. Just keep working through it. We're nearly there on this one. Stop, take a breather. The last move, we're going to go back to the left. I'm just going to explain at the end of this that what else you can do if you want to make it a little bit longer, a little bit harder. Low impact movements. Time to lift, no arms. With the arms, higher arms, higher knees, or high impact. Got a little jump. So, little one, easy level, a little bit harder, hard still, or high impact. All different levels to work at. Always working at your own level. Or you can do a combination. Some little ones, you do some big ones. Just try as much as you can to do your full 40 seconds of nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so if you feel that you want to go further and work a little bit harder, then you can lengthen that, or you could do shorter, so you could just do. Five moves. You can do the jog on the spot, the jacks, high or low, knee lifts, twist, spotted on, just five, and then stop. You can even just do three or four if you want, just work into your level, or you can you can make that longer. So you can do ten minutes, fifteen minutes, or eventually I'd get people working trying to do 20 25 minutes in time. Those of you that are already doing exercise and fitness, you may be able to do a full 20 minutes straight off with the high impact room, so you've got options there to work on. That's our cardiovascular for today. We're doing a little bit of strength work today, so I think we touched on this in our first week. So strength work, really important, because we not only want to get fitter cardiovascular wise, we also want to work on strengthening muscles. So to tone muscles, which obviously look really nice when you've got toned muscles, but also to work with weight bearing exercise, which is really important to encourage the density and strength of your bones and just to make your muscles a lot stronger that support your skeletal system. So it's equally as important as the cardiovascular is to do the strength work. So we're going to start with the big muscles of the legs. So the lunges will work the front and the backs of the legs. If possible, it's quite good for you to do this in front of a mirror initially because you'll get better technique and we'll talk to you about technique as, uh, as I'm working with you today. Or if you work in front of a mirror, you'll see that you keep it nice and straight and your legs going forward. So it does help if you've got a mirror to use a mirror. It's not vital, but if you've got a mirror, that'd be great. So, on the spot, we've got the back nice and straight. We've got the head up. Got the hands on the hips. This is going to be an easier level with just a little step forward and back. Step forward and back. So right leg forward and back. Left leg forward and back. This is your easy lunge. And then we can make that a little bit harder by taking it a little bit deeper. So forward and back, keeping both your feet facing forward. Always keep your back straight, just try not to lean forward or to put your head forward. It's nice, straight back, hands on your hips, or you can make it harder still. So the further we go into that lunge, the harder it will be. Even harder, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. So that's your lunges. If you are a complete beginner, I would possibly start with 10 straight 20 of the smaller lunges. 
If you are a regular exerciser, you can make those deeper, maybe do 20, 30. If you exercise all the time regularly, you can do 50, even 100 of the deep lunges, always keeping your posture good, your back straight. So that's your lunges. And then we're going to do some squats. So squats work the bottom, tops of the legs, through the bottom. Again, if you can use a mirror, that's great. But if you've not got a mirror, the way I usually teach these squats to my um, PT clients is I say, imagine that you're going to sit down on a chair. So you've got a little chair in the back of you. You can even use the chair if you've got one free. Keep the backs of your legs on the chair and sit and we lift. Sit and lift. Sit and lift. Keep your back straight, you can make that harder. Go a little bit further down and up. So still and squeeze. Try not to lean forward. Try and keep your back straight. Try and keep your head up. Sit and squeeze. Sit and squeeze. 10 for a beginner, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so that's your squat. Today we're just going to do a little stretch before we've ended today's workout. So we're going to stretch the calf muscles first. Take it, your weight onto the front leg, back leg straight, hold that for about 20 slow seconds. Change to the other leg, 20 slow seconds. We're working and stretching all the big muscles that we've worked today. Then we're going to do the heel to the bottom. If you haven't got great balance, you can hold on to something, hold on to the wall or something in the chair. So we've got your quads, 20 slow seconds. Then we sit and stretch the glutes. Again, you can hold on if you need to. So that stretches the outside at the bottom and the outer thigh. And the last one is your hamstrings. So we sit back into back leg, front leg is straight, 20 slow seconds. Always make sure that you put stretches of the big muscles onto the end of the workout. It's really, really important. So that's workout for today and uh, hopefully I will see you at